On a lighter note, my friend and I, we had a very, very funny and interesting conversation last night. And I just said, no way. My subscribers must hear this. I must come and report to headquarters. Yes. Guys, we were actually talking about the idea of multi-choice putting together a BB Ninja All-Stars edition. Hi. It's going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be crazy. You know what? I'm going to be spilling all we talked about, how we visualized it, what we are thinking. Guys, we're very, very mischievous. You need to watch till the end of this video to catch all the juicy details. And as I am spilling the beans, guys, if you are also visualizing your own concepts, guys, just go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. Let's start. And before I forget, guys, I really need to let everyone know that my Saturday YouTube live stream is back with a bang. Guys, we started this tradition about nine months ago where we would present different topics, different issues for conversation on my channel every Saturday, 3 p.m. West African time. And I took a short break for one month because, as you already know, I was apartment hunting and I needed to settle down. So now your girl is fully settled down and we have to go back into the business of having proper conversations on Saturdays. And guys, the way I do it on this channel, I give you guys the floor to select topics that we should talk about so our first edition for this new season is going to be starting first of may and that is tomorrow saturday 3 p.m west african time guys do not forget whatever you're going to be doing tomorrow please make our time for your girl we're going to be doing it for a start for only 30 minutes okay and then moving forward we're going to see how we can um extend the time if you guys want because i'm trying to keep it short and simple so please make it a date with me um 3 p.m west african time tomorrow let's get into the video so first off the conversation was born out of all these crazy speculations crazy crazy rumors that a lot of people fans have been throwing here and there carrying here and there about the lockdown housemates about um the lockdown reunion show about the recording period of the reunion show guys you have no idea the amount of mad crazy rumors that's speculating all over the internet about this whole deal and so that was how my friends called me up and he went like hmm that because of all this excitement going on how people are seriously anticipating this entire reunion show People are not even talking about the season six anymore for now. People are just looking forward to the reunion because they want to see all the madness, all the fights, all the basketballs that's going to happen. So he now said that, how about if the organizers of the show bring together the top three um, finalists from every season? beginning from season two because Abu set was a season one so people cannot really remember you know who and who um took part in that first season except Katung and Ebuka. to be honest i don't know any other person that took part in um, season one but then the season two we had Efe, we had bisola who else did we have guys i can't remember for real <laughs> so guys um that was what he said you know he said bring them together Put them in one house and then let's see them in their elements and then there's gonna be war of the fans war of the winners and i'm like mm -mm, guy you're not putting it properly let's put it in this dimension how about bringing the top three housemates with the biggest the largest the craziest and the most toxic fan base fyi guys i have done a video about the most toxic fan base in the history of bb ninja guys i have done all of those analyses you can check them out on my channel or i'm going to link them towards the end of this video so that after this one you can actually watch it so to add more spice to the visualization we decided to make it the top three housemates with the top largest most toxic fan base yes and then we're going to make the selection from each of the seasons of the show and then they are going to now make up the all stars but guys do you know the funny thing about this whole thing here about oh top three that has the largest fan base blah blah blah, blah. let me be honest with you guys <laughs> if aside from last season that's season four and season five guys let's be frank with each other do we honestly think that the previous strong contenders or strong top three finalists whatever do we honestly think that they still even have a fan base i'm talking about specifically the cc and the mercy guys do we honestly think that cc still has a, a fan base 
if you do not remember the name of a fan base they were called spartans and then for mercy they are called hey god i don't know why i can never have it right when it comes to mercy's fan base name it's either i'm thinking mercenarians or mercenaries please if you know the correct pronunciation or the right one please just put it in the comment section below that was my line of argument because i was telling my friend that your idea is very very good though i mean it's a very very fantastic mind-blowing idea because it's gonna be crazy i can already predict the amount of craziness that's gonna be happening but there are a number of factors that we should consider that's gonna become spoilers for all of these um all-stars housemates okay now number one some of them from the last two seasons to be honest they do not have a fan base anymore let me not lie in fact their fan base i feel like they have now been converted to the current people that are fanning and fan basing and supporting these current housemates that we're seeing yes i feel like it's like a recycling of fan base here and there and number two we have seen these people's game plan we've seen those ones that can be manipulative we've seen those ones that can be toxic i'm talking about the housemates now we've seen those ones that we use so 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 and so as a strategy oh date a guy you know get his loyalty use him and do this and do that win the show or um get a guy love him up and then play the victim we've seen all of that now the question is what next will they be bringing to the table that the audience have not seen before so i'm going to mention a few of these um previous top housemates yeah bb niger housemates and then analyze the kind of games they played how they played their games whilst on the show and then what do we think they will be bringing on to um this bb niger all-stars if it happens let's start with cc now cc oh no no, no, no. let's start with t-boss now t-boss in the house was a tad bit manipulative very very strict boss lady like you know ocd much she had ocd she was very very strict sometimes warm sometimes very very cold and a lot of people liked her for that and that episode in the house that she had with kemen when um, according to her kemen was touching her inappropriately in the middle of the night it kind of triggered you know the feminists coven <laughs> were actually watching the show because they were now fighting and drawing blood oh they were calling out for kemen's head and that led to kemen's disqualification from the show and so t boss stayed till the end of the show she was the first runner up but she did not win instead if they won okay now everybody have seen the kind of strategy that um t boss actually played on the show let's move on to cc's um time that's the double wahala season that other season where he was featured was the seagull bay season now the double wahala season was the one where um cc was giving it hot hot to all the housemates constantly bickering and fighting and quarreling and shouting and yelling and then there was the toby episode oh toby you are a cheat you are a playboy blah 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 i gave you my emotions you threw it to the winds blah 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 guys and then she brought up the narrative of oh yes blah 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 i probably bipolar this and that and guys she was able to invest in the emotions of a lot of people that had issues just like her and so <laughs> she stayed till the end of the show because why people saw the strategy of oh yes she's a strong woman she's this she has a mind of her own she can stand for herself she has her own self to to back up her own self blah, 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 blah. all the strong woman thing that was a strategy that City played in the house and it got her to the finals, but she did not win. Instead, Miracle won. If you notice, guys, I am not bringing people like Miracle and Ife into this equation at all because those people have kind of decided that the celebrity lifestyle is not for them, the entertainment lifestyle is not for them. So they have won their money and they have disappeared into oblivion, living their best lives away from the eyes of the public. Now, guys, moving on let's move on to the pepper them gang we're talking about now um tacha and mercy guys those two people <laughs> we know how the story went i didn't even have to go into details i have to actually go into details for the other two seasons for the benefit of those people who were not able to catch up with that um those seasons i think the seasons that actually really garnered a lot of audience um started from the pepper them gang season and then the lockdown season because it happened during the lockdown period so guys there's no need for me to actually explain the crazy crazy people with the crazy crazy massive fan base you know from the pepper them gang season and the lockdown season but we already know so let's make a selection from the pepper them gang season we're bringing in 
for instance, Tatcha, Mercy. Um, who else are we going to bring in, guys? To be honest, aside those two people, I can't really remember anybody else whom I feel will be worthy to be <laughs> in the. Oh! How dare I? We're talking about people like Esther and Fraud. So, Esther, Fraud, Mercy, and Tatcha guys they will very much deserve to be in the bb ninja all stars season if it ever happens now moving on to the lockdown season we decided that housemates that would very much entertain us yes and bring on an entirely craziness to the bb ninja all star season we were thinking about the likes of nengi we we're thinking about the likes of kid wire of course because guys i still have a very very strong feeling that if also were not to be in the picture <laughs> If Erica were not to be in the picture, trust me, hmm, there's going to be a lot of flirtations between um, Kidwire and Nengi. We're also talking about bringing in, um, what's um, her name? V. Yes. V. V, V, V. We don't want them to bring back Lekon. Mm -mm. Lekon is too cool for BB Niger All Stars. Lekon would not bring that fire. We don't want somebody that is tolerant. We were when I and my friend were having this conversation, we're not even thinking about people that are very, very tolerant, people that oh, when you do something to them, they will be chilled and they'll be looking at you. Nah, we do not want people like that. We do not want Lekon to come back. Lekon has tried, okay? He has done his part. Let him just chill. We're talking about people that are gonna be, bring all the drama, people that are gonna bring all that entertainment that we are looking forward to seeing. Uh Erica, hmm. Okay, well, last time she did not kill somebody. This time around, I wonder what's gonna happen. But let her bring her back, anyways. <laughs> it's gonna be fun to actually see if this time around they're gonna show us everything that's happening in the other room. And of course, I would definitely love to have Lucy back. The reason why we would also love to have Lucy back is because, <laughs> hey, let us see if Lucy will be able to match. Pacha and Sissy's energy. Remember, Lucy came into the house and was up and down. She forgot that before her there was. <laughs> so we know that there are two fire elements, Sissy and Tacha, even Mercy. Esther, of course, that she cannot really match their energy. Now, after analyzing the housemates, my friend and I, we also went ahead to also discuss the potential of the fan base that's gonna become the strongest fan base, you know, to emerge from the BB Ninja All Stars edition. So we ran to the equation Spartans, although we know that Spartans for CC have fizzled out. And we also brought into the equation um, um titans mercenaries or mercenarians we also bring to the equation um elites and we did not bring into the equation um icons because um we already discussed that mm, lacon might not be able to keep up with all the toxicity that will come up in that bb ninja all stars but if you think that lacon should be in the bb ninja all stars guys let me know in the comment section below as we proceed so from the conversation we had about the housemates there are some housemates who do not really have a strong fan base we're talking about people like um fraud we're talking about people like esther we're talking about people like um lucy you know and we are looking forward to bringing these people back so guys we now decided that hmm, from all the drama and everything that's going to be happening probably the viewing audience might see another angle to the housemates that they had possibly overlooked in previous seasons and so those housemates might potentially now have their own strong fan base to come and rival the already existing fan base that we already have. Nengi's um, ninjas are already there, of course. Um, Kidwire's, Ziwire Ganganga, I've never been able to pronounce Kidwire's fan base name anyways. The question now is, if there is going to be a BB Ninja all-star season, from all these housemates that I have mentioned, who do you think will win? That's number one. And then from all the fan base that we have mentioned and even the potentially created fan base, yes, that's going to happen if the show is going to happen at all. Which fan base do you think will emerge the strongest fan base of all time? Bam. This is what I and my friend discussed about. We actually had a good laugh and we also talked about other frisky things that we wouldn't like to actually share, shall we? Mm, it's also PG. So, <laughs> guys, these are our thoughts. Yes, courtesy of my very good friend. Yes, he's not here right now. Please go ahead in the comment section below and 
let me know what you think about all that I have mentioned. And if you also have your own list of housemates whom you would love to see in a potential Baby Ninja All Stars edition, guys, please go ahead and list them out in a comment in the comment section. I would definitely love to know what you guys think. That said, happy TGIF, everyone. Have an amazing, amazing Friday, amazing weekend, and I will see you on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. Have an amazing day. Bye.